Hi, I'm Robin. This video explains how to set up, prime, and calibrate a dozing head for your reef doze. Let's start with connecting the supplements. To connect the tubing to the head, first remove the dozing head by gently squeezing the top and bottom fasteners, then pull it away from the unit. As you can see, the inlet and outlet hose barbs include lock nuts designed for flexible tubing. The inlet is on the left and the outlet is on the right. Rotate the lock nuts clockwise to the fully raised position. Push the flexible tubes onto the hose barbs until they touch the lock nut. Now rotate the lock nuts counterclockwise over the tube, but be careful not to over tighten. Once both the inlet and outlet tubes are secured in place, push the head back onto the unit. Please note that there is no need to align the drive shaft as it automatically engages when the head begins to rotate. A dozing head cannot be used until it has been named and calibrated for a specific supplement. So the next stage is to enter your ReefBeat app and name the head according to your supplement. Once you are done, we will prime the head. Priming makes sure that the supplement completely fills the tube from the container to the tip of the outlet tube without any air trapped inside. The head can be primed either from the priming button on the device or the start-stop priming buttons in the app. Of course, if the head is already primed, then just press next. Now that the head is primed, we can calibrate. However, there are a few tips to make sure that this is done accurately. 1. Make sure that the measuring cylinder is clean and dry and that you have absorbent paper available to clean and dry the cylinder between each measurement. This is very important as any drops left inside will affect the accuracy of the reading. 2. When reading the cylinder, it is vital to make sure that it is perfectly vertical and at eye level. 3. The surface of a liquid inside a measuring cylinder is flat in the middle but rises slightly at the sides. The correct measurement is always at the lower central part of the surface and not the sides. 4. The measuring cylinder has graduations every 0.1 ml. However, they are set far enough apart so you can estimate the volume to the nearest 0.05 ml, which is of course halfway between the printed graduations. 5. Always hold the tip of the dosing tube at the center of the cylinder so that the drops do not stick to the cylinder walls. Reef Dose will perform a calibration dose with a predetermined number of rotations of the dosing heads which should give a volume of between 4 and 5 ml. Once Reef Dose has finished its calibration dose, enter the exact volume into the app down to the nearest 0.05 ml. Now, empty and dry the cylinder so it's ready for a confirmation dose. Then press Calibrate. The result should be between 3.95 and 4.05 ml. If it is not, repeat the calibration process again. Once a head is calibrated, you can move on to making accurate manual doses or setting an automated schedule, all of which is shown in a separate video. That covers the setup, priming and calibration. But here are just a few more tips before closing. 1. Before onboarding the Reef Dose to your ReefBeat account, the physical priming buttons are active so that you can connect your supplements and prime the heads in advance. Two. Once Reef Dose is onboarded, the priming buttons are automatically deactivated to prevent accidental dosing. However, they can be activated through the ReefBeat app whenever required. And three, it is important to use quality tubing that is highly impermeable to air, such as Red Sea's color-coded TPE tubing. Have fun dosing with your Reef Dose, and thanks for watching.